my presentation as simple as life is okay. Uh, my talk today is about the manually invasive glaucoma surgery in Egypt. There's a time to apply those surgeries. Uh, as we all know, uh, our armamentarium and the battle against glaucoma include the medical part and the surgical part. Uh, the most lethal weapon in treatment of glaucoma is the filtration surgery, the tonitlactomy. Since introduced in the 1960s, it's considered uh, the gold standard and the most performed filtration surgery. However, there are many challenges in treatment of glaucoma, either on the medical part or the surgical part. For instance, in the medical part, with the poor compliance of patients, the side effects of the medications, and the cost of the medication as well. And for the surgical part, we face patients with bad conjunctiva, especially here in Egypt, with, uh, where trachoma is endemic. And those with single eye, we, we fear about the complications, those who had previous tropical surgery. And those patients, glaucoma patients, who are about to have cataract surgery, and we are thinking of another step to add to the surgery to help those patients to control their pressure. So there is a gap in treatment of glaucoma between the patient needs and the current tools. For the last two or three decades, the glaucoma treatment was this an unprecedented and ongoing innovation in the treatment, which is called the minimally invasive glaucoma surgery, or based those innovations target in, to increase the aqueous outflow to the particular mishwar in the canal of Shlem or to increase the aqueous production. However, talking about the local Egyptian grounds, we have two main challenges. First of all, we lack the proper training to apply those innovations in our Egyptian market. And the second is the availability with the high cost of most of those innovations. But we at Bank Glaucoma Unit accepted the challenge. First of all, we started surfing the, the literature for the evidence, the current status, and the future prospect of the minimally invasive glaucoma surgeries. We started with the clinic training for our residents on the theoretical tutorials on tips and tricks of gonioscopy, training residents on the art of gonioscopy, and how to practice it intensively and regularly among glaucoma patients. At the operating theater, our residents have training on the correct positioning of the surgical microscope to have a good view of the angle, which is essential uh, for many of the many, many invasive glaucoma surgery, to tilt the surgical microscope towards the surgeon, to tilt the patient's face away from, uh, away from the surgeon, and to set in the temporal position during the surgery, handling the gonio lens, the, the, the gonio present in your non-dominant hand, and the second tool in your dominant hand. Coming to the availability of the many, many invasive devices, in the Western literature, there are many devices like the Kehu dual plate, the Arsten, the Zen implant, the Preserve flow. However, here in Egypt, we have very limited access to most of them. So we try to search for economic-wise, cheaper and reliable tools like the hypodermic needle, the MDR plate, and the proline suture. We started doing goniotomy for primary open angle glaucoma patients who are either going to have a cataract surgery for combined phago goniotomy or a standalone surgery. We incised the trapecular meshwork using the MVR plate, the nasal part of the angle, and we adopted another technique which is the pit angle needle a goniotomy where we use a hypodermic needle bending the tip perpendicularly, uh, the tip of the hypodermic needle and excising the nasal part of the tropicular meshwork to uh, de-roof or, or remove part of the tropicular meshwork and the canal of stem as well, either standalone or combined with the phaco goniotomy. This is how we remove the strip with the microforceps after excising it with the angle, with the uh, angle below. We also started that gonioscopic assisted transhumanal trabeculoplasty. We are considering us, ourselves as beginners in this surgery, so we did the heavy gut where we, where we incised the trabecular meshwork, half of the trabecular meshwork using the proline thread. And our results this is a photo for the gonioscopic photo for the angle of the anterior chamber. The lower part with the blue uh, 
uh, color showed the, the part where we have excised the particular meshwork using the pins angle needle goniectomy. And we, if we compare the lower part of the photo to the upper part, which is not treated, this is the heavy pigmented trapecular meshwork here. The, the trapecular meshwork has been removed. And this is one of the participants who have combined faithful pins angle needle goniectomy. And you can see how calm and quiet. Uh, his left eye, while the right eye is irritated from the topical medications uh, he's taking. Uh, we had a significant intraocular pressure reduction after 12 months follow-up. We have nearly 55% complete success, and those patients uh, were completely drug-free. We published our results in the Dental Medical Journal comparing the fecal uh, versus fecal miniotomy in primary open angle glaucoma patients who are undergoing cancer surgery and we presented our results in the ASCARS meeting 2022 in Washington and we adopted the same technique and angle needed for the primary congenital glaucoma and presented our results in the UK Pediatric Glaucoma Society in London 2023. There are still more buttons in the Egyptian market for the last few years the micropulse cyclophotodiode, as our professor told us, the selected laser trapeculoplasty, and recently the endocyclophotocoagulation oh, my to the ejection market. So we are gaining more tools to our armamentarium. And finally, did the maids <coughs> succeed to fill the gap in the glaucoma treatment? Apparently, it's a, it's a challenging and a lifelong pattern. However, we are gaining more weapons to our arsenal and we are shaping more victories and success stories in treatment of this potentially flying disease and hopefully the Egyptian market can, as, can gain more of those fancy and expensive tools but with using our current tool like the MBR blade, the, the high modernic needle, we can achieve comparable success to the, the literature using the table dual plate in the high stands and finally, I'd like to thank you for accepting me, and I hope it was a simple and live presentation. Thank you.